Hey hello everybody and welcome to a new video, my name is Midway and I hope you're having a wonderful day, I sure am. Today I'm going to be talking about how to get every single possible source of lamps every day within Legend of Mushroom. We're going to be going over every known way as, as well as every not so known way, starting with obviously the very basic, just collecting your AFK reward. So I haven't logged in today yet, so there's going to be plenty of stuff for us to collect. So of course, as you log in, there's going to be that speed up of the two hour bonus, as well as all you haven't collected yet for that day. So that's going to be a pretty good source of just a daily big bunch of lamps. Now, some lesser known ways of getting lamps are going to be the cross server ranked match system, in the shop, there's going to be this option to buy daily five times for 25 points total, which is almost nothing. That's basically you get five points per win on the ranked arena. Then you can buy a total of 500 lamps as well. That's already 500 lamps that you have right there, as well as whatever you manage to get from the AFK rewards. Now, obviously, winning on any other of the matches on the arena will get you 20. So if you win, you will be getting more of those, as well as on the arena, you will be, you will be getting 10 per win on the regular arena now there's gonna be plenty more right so of course you can spin to win on that stuff and if you get lucky you will get some of those sweet lamps that's never a guarantee of course but you can also get the keys to the genie so you can also get a big bunch of lamps if you're lucky there so always make sure to spin at least all those five times plus the two bonuses if you want to be randomly trying to get more lamps then of course if you are participating in some of the events there will be some that will give you uh, a big bunch of lamps every day randomly of course not randomly but if you win a brawl you will be getting a massive amount of lamps so always participate on those brawls with a good guild if you can afford to get into a pretty good family then you will be guaranteeing yourself getting a whole bunch of lamps if you win now of course the daily rewards will sometimes come with some lamps but not always now obviously the most easy way and the, the most obvious source is going to be to just do the assault the lamp thief dungeon every day of course watching all those ads you also get the extra keys as well as completing all the daily rewards which will get you an extra key right so if you are not able to defeat the lamp thief at the current level you should try within that day to get strong enough to beat it if you are able to but if that's not the case if you're gonna, not gonna be able to actually beat it then just sweep away the rewards you better actually use the keys than just waste them and not use them because you're actually just waiting to try and kill the thief but right here i'm a little bit far off I should probably try and get stronger today maybe i could get there but honestly i'm fine with just sweeping all that good stuff and getting a big bunch of all those lamps right we are already almost at 4k today now obviously there's gonna be a massive bonus here of lamps if you buy the uh the the pass for the leveling up of your magic lamp if you do so i definitely recommend purchasing this the value for this is really damn insane it only costs what is it like 10 plus one dollars right so that's 11 dollars that it takes to buy this and you're gonna get a whole lot of lamps but that's not really a daily lamp that you can get a daily bunch of lamps now there will be some if you have some of those bonuses that you have uh, maybe purchased into all the privileges so i myself bought into the uh, monthly card and that gives me a hundred lamps you can also buy into lifetime pass that's also going to give you extra 200 daily pretty damn good also pretty good value if you're spending any money on this game that's a good way of getting extra lamps right there uh the daily events won't really give you anything here as far as i know that's only going to be diamonds but you could always buy into some stuff if you do so then you would always have better better rewards here daily to be collected or obviously bought with a uh, pretty cheap price so more stuff obviously collect all those diamonds because they also um, just mean a whole bunch of extra cool stuff you can get but yeah really important sign up to the raid every day because then you're going to be able to afford to buy all the lamps from the family shop pretty important if you participate in a family and you get enough of those uh, coins whatever they're called actually the coins you use to buy the stuff in the family uh, shop then you can afford to buy all the lamps here and i would definitely recommend doing so because obviously lamps are the only way to get gear in this game they're the main way to get xp and you can also just get a whole bunch of gold from doing so right obviously there's gonna be afk rewards but that's the best way to just get a whole bunch of guaranteed lamps of course helping out your family members also gonna give you some of these coins the family contribution points and then if you donate you will also get a whole bunch of family contribution points really damn important because that's gonna be allowing you to then once again go and purchase every single lamp if you properly participate in everything you can daily you should be able to always or almost always afford to buy all the lamps 
stamps from the family shop, right? The brawl itself, important as well as I mentioned, just so that you can win and then get the win reward, which is going to actually be, if I can see it now, I don't think I can see it from here right now because we uh, there's no active match going on. Maybe there is uh, the rewards information somewhere, but you do get like, what is it, like 1.3, 1.8k lamps for winning, so that's a whole damn lot of lamps. Now, the Blazing Cave is also going to be insanely rewarding in terms of lamps. Of course, it's going to be the rewards you can claim for your family members participating in the events. Of course, we just got a thousand family contribution points from that as well as a lot of gold. Very important. There's also a whole bunch of gold to be collected here, but there's also going to be the lesser chests, which will contain a big bunch of lamps. And now participating in the actual Blazing Cave will also give you a whole damn bunch of rewards. Some of those family coins as well, of course, guaranteeing you to just be able to afford those uh, lamps from the shop. There will be just so many good rewards from this. We'll see in a second here. I'll do quite some damage here. Maybe not my best. Um, yeah, actually it was my best. But yeah, you don't actually get lamps from this as far as I know. But you do get the family contribution points. Which obviously you do need, once again, to just go to the family shop. And be able to keep buying those lamps. That's the main thing I recommend buying from the family shop. Really damn important. It's one of those limited sources of lamps that you can get every single day, right? So doing this, once again, pretty damn quick. Just so that we can get some of those points again. But yeah, once you defeat it, of course, there's going to be more rewards to be collected out of the um, the chests, right? So once you defeat it, there's going to be a new chest to collect. So just keep on doing those. I don't think you, you can actually uh, overcap on those. It's going to be really hard for you to miss out all the chests if you play daily. But yeah, there is no lamp rewards here, actually. But there, yeah, you do get the coins here, the contribution points. So that's, of course, more lamps that you can buy elsewhere. So, uh, there is the AFK rewards as well from the dormitory. This will include lamps, so of course collect those, the offline rewards, as you go 155 more lamps. Uh, I'm not sure if having more retainers actually increases the offline uh, rewards. Uh, I'm inclined to think it doesn't, but there could be the case. I'm not too sure here. There, I don't think there's any lamps to be collected from this, uh, the uh, gathering system on the farm, neither from the uh, the mine, the prayer statue, of course, that's just power for you. And of course, well, the offline earnings, that's also a thing that you should be leveling up, very importantly, so you can guarantee yourself to just get more stuff, basically, while you are AFK. So while you are offline, you will just be able to earn more stuff, right? Offline earnings plus 30% that also affects the amount of lamps you get daily right so more stuff there is going to be of course winning on the uh, the, the the campaign as you defeat uh, more enemies you will just be able to obviously progress through it and that's going to get you some lamps if you're lucky enough there we go we can also just try and daily progress as much as we can there's always going to be a little bit of power to be gained every day right so once you do gain that power that day then of course go ahead and try to just uh, get yourself some more lamps through that and might as well just start spinning that in the meantime right so here there will not be any lamps to be collected from this i'm gonna sweep through this because i know i'm gonna be not defeating the boss i haven't really upgraded my defenses too much i am actually getting killed by that but yeah you do not get any lamps from that i think you only get some um, the rewards here only include uh Chris, what's it called uh, gems seeds they don't include actually lamps on that event either really but yeah another source of course is going to be to try and play every single event daily there's going to be many 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 of these events which you will give a bunch of lamps daily so always try and find those if there's any active try and fulfill them all as, as much as you can let's try and see if this one actually once you defeat this it actually gives any lamps but there will be many ways that you might forget sometimes because they are not so easy to find some of these events are not that obvious but yeah if you're paying attention of course you will find them but there's also there's also well i got guides and stuff on how to min max everything here so you can get yourself more stuff out of these events but yeah here as well we do not get any lamps but we do get some points which will eventually turn into more lamps possibly do we get any rewards here out of this i think the leaderboard is a little bit cooked but yeah you do get lamps out of this event so of course participating in the events and getting better points will always equate to just a better rewards which could in case include lamps now about this other event for example just like the previous this one there is another way a lot of ways here in order to get some lamps here right so once we do win this stuff uh, the rewards will include a big bunch of lamps so pretty time important check all that stuff out if you want to min max uh, getting all the possible lamps daily from the events usually they do 
provide a whole bunch of uh, just uh, possible rewards which include lamps of course we already mentioned getting all those daily rewards uh, so you can indeed challenge the lamp thief once more so there we go we are like uh, we got like i don't know what is it, like uh, 6k almost uh, somewhere around 6k ish lamps we got so far so we are already spinning on those and we are just speed running through them now another thing that's pretty important is to just place properly in the pvp it's not just about using those uh, challenges and probably beating something of course winning will give you lamps but if you uh, if you actually place properly every day uh, the rewards for the season uh, will just include a little bit of um, actually here it only includes a little bit of um, of gems a little bit of other stuff which is kind of nice but in the case of the cross server arena match or whatever you can see where we go there we go uh it just doesn't actually include any lamps but it will of course include a whole bunch of the glory batches which we do need for the um the rewards we talked about for the lamps by the way here you should try to buy the awakening crystal which is going to be uh pretty much uh one of the only ways you can buy the awakening crystals at a pretty reliable price so that is something you should always try and go for so that is pretty much all the ways you can get daily lamps there's no more sources as far as i know right now that you can do daily of course if you get lucky on the spins you will get more lamps every day if you are on a power streak and you just win a lot of the stages on the campaign you will also get more lamps that day if you just win a lot on pvp of course more lamps that way as well if you spend on some of the extra uh, challenge attempts on pvp that will also net you with even more lamps so yeah there's plenty of ways to boost your lamp intake daily but the basics and um, not the basics but pretty much everything else that doesn't require to spend any money and uh, just uh, basically claim it and log in and do the daily stuff that's already been covered so yeah really really recommend once again to try and buy yourself uh the uh, what's it called the uh the magic lamp fund it's really gonna be giving you so many damn lamps every time you level up and it's really gonna help with that leveling curve on the uh on just the power creep on the gear and just the gacha and everything it's really gonna be coming in pretty handy whenever you level up and you find yourself that you now have like 6,000 lamps to go through right so that's pretty damn cool haven't really gotten much gear from these lamps today but that's just about to be expected once you are at this point in the game but nonetheless if you enjoyed that let me know down in the comment section also if you haven't done so yet please go ahead and check out apto it's going to be giving you from a 10 percent all the way up to a 35 percent discount on further purchases basically the way this works is that whenever you try to make a purchase in the legend of mushroom on an android phone or an emulator on your pc or any other mobile game by that means you will be prompted to make the payment through the app coins wallet once you have everything set up it's going to be down the description there's going to be a tutorial there on how to set everything up on your phone or as well as on an emulator on your pc then you will be able to use the bonuses that you have unlocked once you make purchases to actually make the payments for you instead of actually using your money, right? So right now, if I was to be buying this with my actual money, I would be getting 0.07 um, euros. That is because my bonus right now is pretty small. You can increase that bonus by a flat 5% from uh, the baseline from uh, the get-go by using my code. is going to be down in the description as well. But then as you make more purchases, you will unlock bigger bonuses. There's also active events going on within the AppCoins wallet, which will increase this bonus to even more. So you can really get yourself a whole lot of extra value for your purchases and then use that extra value you can make the purchases without actually spending any money instead of just using the bonuses you have unlocked so yeah hopefully you enjoy that and join me together on app it really helps me out check everything down in the description for all those things needed and if you got any questions also drop them down below in the comments let me know if i missed any other source of lamps daily um and yeah hopefully you enjoy that follow like subscribe whatever and i'll see you in the next video bye bye see you